We are a government-owned quarry. We benefit from that because we're able to keep costs down supporting the local government needs, but we also are able to support the local citizens and provide them with their needs. We have uh, over 600 customers that uh, we provide materials for. The uh, plant that we've been operating for the past 30 years has become dated in such a way that we're unable to produce the amount of product that we need to. Over the last three years, we've done our due diligence. We started looking into other stationaries versus mobiles. We went with the mobile uh, because it gives us so much flexibility as far as pit design is concerned. Uh, so, so we're not ever gonna be in a situation again that we have a stationary plant sitting on rock that we need to mine. When we began to uh, look into what was available, we saw that there were dual power machines out there, and that was very attractive to us because we can be most efficient if we're on the grid. But uh, certain times, it's costly to be on the grid. So we're gonna be able to manage the different operations using diesel over electric so that we can stay off of the grid during peak times. We needed 650 tons of a finished product per hour with at least 200 tons of 57s per hour. Those were the two most important points. And also meet our quality control standards for our crusher run product, which is an inch and a half minus. And so all of those were uh, stringent uh, requirements that we had to meet for Oconee County to feel like that we could make this investment. The Sandvik plant is really something you can just set and forget. Once you do your normal startup routine in the morning, all you do is hit auto start. We are confident in the uh, ASRI system that it's going to help us monitor. Uh, and again, it's made life easy. There's very few manual tasks that we have to do anymore. And all that's available through technology Sandvik offers. What we're looking for is of course we have to hit our production goals, but also equally as important, it can't be flat or elongated, it's gotta be a cubicle product, and it's gotta hit the gradation targets. It's extremely important to have a cubicle product in your roads. If you have a, a stone that is flat or elongated, uh, and especially if you're gonna put it into, uh, into asphalt, over time, those could break and degrade and create rutting. The stone is measurably more cubical than what we've had in the past. We've had some issues uh, at times, especially the 789s and 57s, with uh, flat and elongated particles because we couldn't keep our, our cones choke fed. And now that we have the uh, Sandvik cones choke feeding themselves, uh, our product is cubical. Our flat and elongation rate on our old plant uh, was roughly about 14%. With the Sandvik product so far, all the testing shows that we're around 4%. Massive improvement. I feel very confident now with what we have. We're very fortunate now to have a new plant that can produce a more cubicle product and better accommodate our QC needs. It has met and exceeded our expectations for the uh, plant that we were searching for. I've been very pleased with Sandvik. Uh, I've got full uh, faith that we're going to be supported, uh, you know, for the next several decades. We were looking to better ourselves through technology, and I think that's what we have with Sandvik. <laughs>